In today's episode, we are enjoying spring-like conditions, considering it's mid-December, and we're hoping to get out on the water soon to have a great session. Not gonna lie, the forecast is looking a little bit sketchy with gusts of over 50 knots forecasted for the afternoon. However, we do have a good window of opportunity right now my plan for today is to kite for about an hour or so while the conditions are pretty safe and to get out well in advance of any crazy gusts. set the stage for what's to come, the wind sensor nearby was showing 9 knots of wind while I was out on my 8 meter kite with 26 meter lines. There were hardly any white cups, but plenty of wind upstairs for jumps. I would say it was around 20 knots, but not more. Down below there was hardly any wind at all. When I was landing my kite, it just collapsed halfway through, even though the treetops were still moving. This is partially due to some wind shadowing, but that being said, there was definitely more wind up top due to the doming effect. I just came in, I saw some dark clouds beyond the point there. And with the forecast today, I really just didn't want to risk it. So came in, finished the session on a high note. Probably could have kited a little bit longer, but just in case, it's good to get out and be safe. As the wind started picking up, some switched to smaller kites, and most riders came in as we knew what was coming. But it was still rideable with gusts up to 30 knots at first. Then it started squalling around every couple of minutes or so with gusts in the mid 40s. Kiter stuck on the water made it back to shore one way or another. The nearby sensor failed with its last reading being over 50 knots. After the initial squalls, the wind seemed to steady itself as our friend went out on his five meter kite. calmness was short-lived however, here's raw footage followed by the rider's summary of what happened. Since our local wind sensor malfunctioned at the time, we don't know the exact wind speed of the gust, but the sensor upwind and downwind of us showed gusts in the range of 54 to 60 knots.
went out on a five meter, felt pretty fine. The wind actually started going down. I felt like, and turning kind of offshore, I decided I probably should head back in. Went out, tried to come in. As I was coming in, I got hit by a huge gust, probably 55, 60 knots. Started getting dragged, no control whatsoever on the five meter kite, which is ridiculous. So it was bouncing like a rock across the water. Released the kite because I saw coming, saw that I had no control. Was down in the water, trying to kind of swim towards the shore. Wasn't really happening, was in the water for a while. Like decided that it was kind of either me or the kite. The water's pretty cold. It's December 11th. So I just said, you know what? Kite's not worth my life. See ya. And slowly swam to shore. So when the gust hit, I lost my board because I went skipping down the water. And the waves actually brought the board back to me, which was really useful because it helped me ride the waves towards the shore and kept me afloat a little bit better. I swam for about 40 minutes, I would say. So later, was up on shore with a bunch of people trying, asking me if I'm okay, but I'm all good. <laughs> live, to, live to kite another day. Don't worry, but money is nothing. Life is more important. You can always buy another kite. You, could, you can never buy another life. <laughs>